Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, their hidden feelings uh, reading. So this is gonna definitely going to be somebody on your mind wondering how they feel about you. So with that, let's just get started. You can also start by uh, telling me what you want to manifest in love in the description box. So with that, let's just get started. Let's see what the energy is here for my beautiful Sagittarius is it in love. What are their current feelings for Sagittarius? Now, I'm going to pull um, some oracle messages, and then I'm going to pull some tarot. We'll clarify what is needed. We will also pull some more messages, what they're thinking or feeling about you, and then we will see in the energy if there'll be contact in the new near future between you and them. Sorry, I have a little tongue tongue-tied. I think I've had a lot of caffeine this morning. So let's get one of these oracles. Okay. Oh, look at that. Secret crush. Okay. Very attracted to you. This is a very attracted energy. It could also tell me this person is kind of admiring you more than they are letting on. So that could be that energy. You also have here, you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. So definitely this person doesn't know where they stand with you and maybe you don't know where you stand with this person. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Wow. And then we also have here, it's simple really. How do I feel? Wow, I want you and us forever. Sagittarius. I don't know who this is. If you know who this is, let me know in the description box. Probably the person on your mind. But... Uh, not the description box. I don't know why I say description box. The comments. So someone really, really has it bad for you. Okay, I'm just saying here. Someone has it bad for you, and you may not even know it. So let's cut the deck. Some of you, this is a newer energy. It doesn't have to be, but it could be somebody around you. I don't know. This is who I'm picking up in your entry. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What else can you share with Sagittarius about this person and their feelings, their true feelings for Sagittarius? What's the upcoming energy here? Okay, we've got Scorpio energy. The Lovers, Gemini energy. We have Capricorn energy. The devil, a lot of major, oh my gosh, four major arcana cards. Something big's happening here, Sagittarius. The hermit. Oh my God, five, five major arcana cards. Okay, I'm blown away, all right? I don't think in a long time I've not had five major arcana cards come up in the first five cards. You got the chariot, Cancerian energy. Okay, I was going to fall out of my chair if we got another major arcana. You have the Ace of Swords. Six of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius. I just have to say, bottom of the deck here, you do have the Four of Wands. All right, let's go through this. Okay. First off, I'm going to say here with the lovers, this person feels a very strong connection with you. This is definitely a magnetic attraction. It's like when you meet somebody with the lover's energy here, it's like you feel like you've known this person before. I always say this is also my past life soulmate card. But you also have the death rebirth card here. Now, this does not necessarily mean that things ended between the two of you. It could just tell me there's some sort of significant change that is about to happen. Now, some of you, there could be an ending here. So let's clarify. Tell me more about the death rebirth card here. Tell me more about the death rebirth card. 
Okay, all right. Missing, missing and thinking of you. Okay. All right, I have to say this definitely feels like this could be somebody that something ended here between the two of you. Now, I'm just going to say for some of you, if this is a newer connection, that is not going to resonate. It just could tell me that maybe something significant happened in this person's life and it caused some distance between the two of you, okay? But they're definitely missing you and thinking about you. Now, your next two cards, you have the devil and you have the hermit. See, this person is seeing you as mysterious. Now this could tell me with the hermit and also the devil here, this could be somebody kind of obsessing, obsessing about you, doing a lot of thinking. Some of you just could be dealing with a Capricorn. Now I'm gonna say this could be somebody who's a little bit controlling or possessive. Maybe somebody who doesn't want to let go of you. They, it even could be a jealous energy. But let's clarify that double. Tell me more about this double. Okay. Well, we got uh, reconciliation. Okay. So a lot of you, it's going to resonate. Only picking up um, somebody here where you may not be with this person right now. This is reconciliation. This is rebuild. You know, I'm just hearing like, I just want to hold you. It's what I'm feeling here. We have magnetic attraction. See, there's a very strong attraction between you and this person. Again, two cards here, two people holding each other. So this person, okay, now it could tell me that this is someone who does not want to let go of you. Okay, they're obsessing here about you is the energy that I am feeling. Now, Sorry there, the phone's ringing. That may be a sign that you're going to get communication. Your next two cards here, you have the Chariot and you have the Ace of Swords. Look at this. Communication. Now, there's definitely some movement here in your situation. Could talk about communication. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords. Okay, and the movement card. We'll probably do both here. Tell me more about... This Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, look at that. This is change and this is transition. So communication. Let's get another one. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, we got a Divine Masculine Energy. So this is someone taking decisive action to change things, I feel, between you and them. All right, let's see why the chariot is here. That's the movement. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Okay, realization. This is realization and epiphanies. It's a spiritual awakening. You also have here uh, relationship and reconnecting. Okay, this person, I feel you're going to get communication. We're going to do communication later and see what comes out. But this person is definitely awakening to this connection. They're going to do something to try to connect with you again is what I'm feeling here. And that could also be with the death rebirth card here. Some sort of transformation this person is having about you it does feel like there's been distance time maybe that has passed but let's see what else we have here we also have the six of wands and the king of pentacles wow i feel like there is someone it's right here with it's simple really how do i feel i want you i want us forever so there's an offer coming towards you sagittarius could be dealing with a Capricorn. I think I said you could be dealing with another Capricorn earlier, but I meant to say you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Some of you, it could even be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but tell me more about the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Oh, look at that. Love strong connection and you also have competition all right 
I feel like this person may feel like there is other people around you or they may feel they have to compete for your love. See, the six of wands here, they know they got to do something to get your attention. I'm feeling here, right? Solid offer here with this king of pentacles. That's what I'm really strongly getting here. Now, let's pull some true heart hidden feelings. We're going to see how they see you and how you see them. So how are you seeing uh, this person right now, Sagittarius? Huh? You got the lone wolf. Okay. You're seeing like there's a lot of distance here between you and this person. You may also see this person as a free spirit. For some of you, it can mean that this person is like not wanting to commit or they need space. But let's see, uh, how is your person seeing you right now? Okay, we got clarity. So this talks about transparency. They mean what they say, expressing your needs. So this person may, f uh, may feel like they need some sort of clarity from you, interesting enough or they may need to be transparent. I'm just gonna say I really feel like this person feels like there needs to be some sort of conversation between the two of you because they are feeling mysterious here, okay? And you know, the mutual energy here, you have harmony. So this talks about being compatible. It also talks about an enduring uh, love and hanging in there at all costs, okay? And this person, whoever this is, they don't want to argue and fight with you. That's that energy as well. You also have here rom romance wants to court you. They could have like an old fashioned way of looking at things, but it's also a card of chemistry and somebody who is very intrigued with you. And I'm going to say the next card here, you have receptive. So they hope that you're still interested or in that you'll respond to them is that energy. So with that, let's get... Uh, we're going to do, will there be contact, which I feel there will. I'm going to do that in a moment, but let's get some more messages on what they're thinking or feeling about you. What are they thinking or want to say to you? Okay. You got, you came closer than anyone. So it feels like you and this person got pretty close or you had a strong connection and bond, but then it's like something happened. I look for you everywhere. They're hoping to run into you if you are locally, but it can also tell me like they see people, then they think it's you. I feel you leaving me behind. And you were the best thing in my life. Yeah, see, this person has it bad for you, Sagittarius, even if you don't think so. All right, let's do communication. Thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance. Will there be communication between Sagittarius and this person in the near future? Two yeses, no no's here, so yes, that tells me, okay. Now, I'm going to say here you have uh, the Knight of Cups. There's something that they want to say and express to you is what I get here, but they're feeling a bit insecure. They're feeling um, very uncertain about it. I feel like because there's something here around truth. Remember we talked about transparency? And you also have here the king of wands, okay? So yes, I feel, I feel like they're going to be the one to reach out to you. They're going to be the more assertive one I'm sensing, okay, taking action. Now that could be you too, but you also have the queen of cups. Yeah, look at that in the ten of cups. I feel like this person really, what I'm sensing here is they want to tell you how they're feeling or what they feel. 
Um, they could be somebody who's a bit more logical, but I am picking up a lot of water energy. We also have here uh, strong Pisces energy. So I do get that this person has a lot of feelings for you, and I feel like they feel complete with you. But they're feeling a little bit uncertain and a little bit unsecure about expressing how they feel with you. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.